How's it going everyone? So, Audio Link is pretty cool, but don't you think it'd be cooler if your avatar's effects reacted to your voice instead? Luckily, you can, and it's very easy to do so. Today, I'll be performing some experiments on this friendly alien to show you how you can achieve some cool voice-activated effects on your avatar. We'll start by first creating the animation for our effect. Select your avatar and enter play mode. Then, in the animation tab, create a new animation. For this avatar, I'll be animating a blend shape as well as an emission strength property. If you're animating shader properties with something like Poyomi, be sure you explicitly allow that property to be animated beforehand. We'll navigate to keyframe 1, click the record button, then modify the values. You should have two keyframes, the first with your properties at 0, and the second with your properties set to your desired values. Look at that powerful boy. Exit play mode. Next, enter your avatar's FX animator controller. Under parameters, create a new parameter called voice with a capital V. Under layers, create a new layer with its weight set to 1, and in that layer, create a new blend tree. Select the blend tree state and set the motion time parameter to voice. Enter the blend tree, set the parameter to voice, and add in the animation you created earlier. That's it! No need to modify your expression parameters or anything, just head to the SDK control panel and hit upload. Though, maybe you don't want these voice effects active all the time. If you want to make it toggleable, that's easy to do too. In your avatar expression parameters, add a new boolean parameter. In your expression menu, add a new control using this parameter, and set it as a toggle. Back in your FX controller, in the layer you made earlier, create a new empty state and set it as the default state. This will act as our idle state. Under parameters, add the bool parameter you added to your expression parameters earlier. Create a transition from the idle state to the blend tree with the parameter condition equaling true. And a transition back to the idle state with the parameter condition equaling false. Disable exit time and set transition duration to zero on both. And just like that, you're done. Now you've got some badass voice activated effects that can be toggled on or off. If you want to be the first to check out new avatar tutorials for awesome features, make sure to subscribe. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.